my partner Kelly and we will be talking to you today about an awesome web-based tool called Kia, you know it's with a Q, anyways, okay. Web-based software tools provide access for learning both inside and outside of the classroom. There are many different web-based tools available for use in education. The one we will be specifically looking at today is Kia. It's just got the name there, but anyways. Okay. Um, Kia allows educators to create their own quizzes, activities that can be shared with other teachers, basically, across the world. So, as you can see, that statement there, science is a way of understanding the world. Technology, on the other hand, is a way of controlling the world. So, I know. Anyways, so basically, sometimes we think that science and ICT technologies aren't the same, but however, there's some parts where they're different, but other parts where they correlate. Anyways, as educators, there's three questions that we all need to ask ourselves whenever we're talking about um, ICT um, innovation tools. Okay, integrative tools. Basically, the three questions are what can ICT technologies, where can ICT technologies help? What ICT technologies are available and how to teach with ICT technology? Okay, basically, for the first question, where can ICT technologies help? Okay, There's, this is the most important question because, well, there's one thing. Okay, identifying parts of the curriculum that are hard to teach with technology might help overcome pedagogical or cognitive difficulties. So in our case here, we're going to be teaching grade three students. For example, in the national curriculum, it says year three biological science. So they're expected, or teachers are expected to teach them living things can be grouped on the basis of observable features and can be distinguished from non living things. And the state curriculum states that you have to teach them the subject of life and living, which is needs, features, functions, and living things that are related and change over time. Animals, plants, and non living things. So if you're teaching grade three, about, um, say you're teaching grade 12 or something in a biology class and some of them don't want to do the dissection, ICT innovative tools can help with this because sometimes there's religious values of people where they don't want to um, cut up a frog because you can't kill an animal. But, so you can use a tool that just kind of does that digitally. So anyways. Yes, okay. Um, what technology is available? Okay, the use of ICT technologies in science are limitless. Now, there are ICT technologies specifically designed in the science curriculum. One example is Model IT, Virtual Frog, BioKids, and WISE. These have been specifically designed for the science curriculum. So basically from grade 12 to grade, grade kindergarten to grade 12. Okay, and the last important question is how to teach with technology or ICT technologies. So obviously the pedagogical side of things. Teachers need to be aware of the science, so your content in which you're teaching, technology, the technology which you're using, or the ICT innovative tool that you're using, as well as your students, okay? What their needs are and how certain technological tools or the ICT innovative tools that you're using can help. Because when, as educators, we need to know how we're gonna, we need to know these tools so that it's easier for us to teach with these tools. If we don't know how to use it, they're not gonna be engaging in the, um, they're not gonna be engaging in the activities because we have no idea what we're talking about, but when we have an idea about what we're talking about, then we can help. So now I will give it over to Kelly, my, my good old friend here, to tell you about Kia and how these questions can be answered. Okay. Kia is, as Estelle said, a web-based learning tool. It stands for a quintessential instructional archive, and essentially what it is, it's a program on the internet whereby you can upload quizzes, activities, games that students can do uh, across the board it's for all age groups and all curriculum levels. We've specifically chosen science grade three today. Uh, currently the program is used in over 12,000 schools in over 70 countries. So essentially as a teacher, you've expanded your personal learning network across the board because you actually have so many other teachers in other areas who are teaching similar subjects to you but might be a different grade level. You can sort of bounce ideas off of each other. Uh, it can also be being a web-based tool. It can be accessed anywhere as long as you have a PC with internet connection. 
It also uses a limited bandwidth. So for like CHC, we all know how painful it is with the Wi-Fi network and the pressures that gets put under. This doesn't actually use up a lot of bandwidth. So it can it can be sustained by a school if they have five or six different classes all using them at the same time. They can still be used just as fast as they would be should it just be the one person. Um, the key network allows you to share the games and activities with other teachers and other students. So students in your class can be doing games in another student's class on the other side of the world. Uh, it aids in classroom management as well. There is a function to create a class web page, a calendar so you can have things when it's due for your class. It allows you to upload class rosters and surveys that you can create for your students or their parents as well. Um, now, by using all of these things, it helps integrate I ICTs into the class. If, if, the, um, if the daily category is when you come in, that you check your class web page, that you work out what your activities are for the day, it means if they're using it on a daily basis, we all know that practice makes perfect, and that way it's integrated into their daily routine and they don't really realize what they're learning when they should be. Uh, for educators, it contains custom editable question banks, so you can have a whole list of words that are um, that you would want to use in a particular, say, a hangman, for instance, the game hangman. Um, you can put those in, but then you can also export those words into another quiz, so therefore you're saving yourself a little bit of time as well. It provides automatic grading for you, so it saves you a little bit of time. It can automatically grade the quizzes, and you can select if you've got some short answer questions, you can select manual grading. Therefore, you can actually check if the child has gained that knowledge in the way they've formulated their sentences. Uh, it's also instant feedback for students. So once they've done the quiz, they automatically get their results, which for me, is, I like to know immediately how I've done. You can also do a question by question summary of results or a student by student. And here, this just shows how easy the templates are to do. This is the hangman template. So you put in your hangman title and your description, and here are all your hidden words. So for instance, if you're doing life and living and food chains, you might have prey, predator, consumer, decomposer, and have them in that way, and then you can put your hints in there. And that way, at the very bottom of the page, you can just click submit, and your activity is there, ready to go. You will be trying some of the activities that Sadal and I have actually made. We've got about six on there, and that will be part of today's workshop activity. Uh, in general, with this key tool, it's so um, user-friendly, it, you can use it across all subjects, you can, across all age groups. Um, most schools, in order to sort of implement this into schools, most people will be, they worry about the money, they worry about school funding and things like that. This particular tool, it's a 30-day free trial, which is why we're displaying it for you today. Uh, but also, it's $49 for, for per instructor, and they have bigger discounts for schools. So for a yearly subscription, it's not too bad, considering it, I mean, the benefits outweigh the negatives of the price. Um, and the activities that you do create remain online indefinitely. So if you were to cancel your subscription in three years' time, you go back online, and your activities will all still be there. Okay, activity time. Woo! Okay, everyone, this is your student username and password that I'm handing out for everyone with the laptop. Okay. So there's Hangman, there's Java Words, there's so many different stuff. Uh, there's a list of actually all types of games that can be done. Um, so have a look through. We've got a couple there where we've got ones of the planets, which is also part of the year three learning, essential learnings for science. Uh, so we've pretty much done all the science um, KLA, KLAs into about six of those games. So feel free to play a couple of them. And also it's like revision for your science. <laughs> Everything that we've learned this semester <laughs> also. <laughs> okay. okay, so once you play those games, Let me help you. Okay. Once you play those games, there's actually detailed reporting that comes back. So you can see where the child is on the same curve of the class. This gets emailed to the teacher, and you can actually go to the students. You spelled solid, but I made water based Solid? Condensation. Oh, is it condensation? Yeah, it's condensation. Just
She's cheating right there.